Hello, my name is Jonathan Bean. I'm a clinical application specialist with Hamilton Medical. In this segment, we're going to discuss the basics of alarm management on the Hamilton T1. When an alarm occurs, the corresponding alarm appears in the message bar. There's three different levels of alarms, high priority, medium priority, and low priority. A low priority alarm lights up the yellow lamp and beeps twice, but the beep does not reoccur. A medium priority alarm will also illuminate the yellow lamp and gives a series of three beeps repeated. Note that the corresponding monitored value also changes color. A high priority alarm will illuminate the red lamp and gives a series of five beeps repeated. When multiple alarms are active, touch the message bar and you can see all active alarms on one screen. That's the Okay, we're going to silence the alarm and once all the alarms have cleared, you can touch the red icon to display the buffer screen, which gives a history of the recent alarms. You can reset that window and those alarms are cleared and the red icon disappears. To readjust the alarms, open the alarms menu. You can see the upper alarm limits across the top, the lower alarm limits across the bottom, and the current monitored value is displayed on the left side of each column. That gives you a reference as to where to set each alarm setting. You can also adjust the loudness of the alarms. Touch system, settings, loudness, adjust to where you want it. You can test with the test button. If you're satisfied, just close the window. You can also review a list of the last 1,000 events, including alarms, in the events tab. The events are listed in chronological order and the alarms are displayed color-coded for priority. To go back in time, illuminate the scroll bar, turn the push and turn knob, and you can review the last 1,000 events.